Hello, I'm Cara Sevens and welcome to Sign 7 News, bringing you the latest stories from the last week in the sign and wide format print industries. This week, Astley Signs sold to Mindelin AB, Bristol Sign Writer awarded a scholarship from QEST, Ocean Outdoor talks new digital solutions, and Perfect Colours set for HP Showcase at the print show. First, Astley, a sign fabricator with annual sales of around £16 million, has sold all company shares to Mindelin AB, a Swedish corporation that specialises in the support of sectors like retail, with its portfolio of around 10 companies. Following the sale, Astley chairman David Redhead has stepped down from his business role to retire, with all other directors remaining in their current roles. Next. A sign writer from Bristol has been awarded a scholarship from the Queen Elizabeth Scholarship Trust. The scholarship will enable Jess Grimsdale to receive specialist tuition and further her skills, including a course in reverse glass gilding with David A. Smith, where she will learn a range of techniques, including oil and water gilding, glue chipping and acid etching. Now, with a whole host of important campaigns taking place over the last few weeks, out-of-home company Ocean Outdoor has used its portfolio of billboards to highlight important messages, as well as big events such as the Queen's Jubilee. To learn more about what Ocean has in store, we spoke to Catherine Morgan, director of Ocean Labs, who told us about the company's innovations. So Ocean Outdoor are a premium out-of-home um, provide media owner. We have multiple different locations across the UK, but we are known for our iconic large screens and cutting edge technology. And Ocean Labs, the division that I run, are the innovation hub that power Ocean Outdoor. So the technologies we've launched today are Edison Live. We've also launched Deep Screen on the IMAX. We've launched our new mobile augmented reality platform, SkyMax. We've also launched 3D projection mapping and a new content mesh, bringing um, content to the IMAX for the first time. On the LED side, the new innovations include Edison Live and the content mesh. For Edison Live, for the first time, we're transforming it into a dynamic data platform. So we're adding in live data feeds to allow that to respond in real time to contextual and environmental triggers. So that could be things like changing the creative based on weather conditions or live sports scores. Um, and it's really taking Edison to the next level. We'll also be looking to install a bespoke LED mesh to allow us to show content on the IMAX for the first time, showing highlight imagery from our key content partner events. Uh, Deep Screen, as we know, has been incredibly successful over the last year and one of the things we're really excited about is bringing that to the IMAX. So this is going to really transform the IMAX into a 3D space and we're really excited to see actually what a lot of the creative community come up with in terms of how you can create that stage area and that sense of depth on, on the locations and the IMAX particularly, the scale of it, the iconic nature and the fact that each elevation is framed by a street scene means that you can really create the perfect space for those 3D activations. Sustainability has been at our heart for many years and it started with our Ocean for Oceans policy and social movement around eliminating the use of single-use plastics within our business. It's something that we've been doing and practicing and living and breathing for many years. Um, and the work that we've done on the IMAX um, in 2016 to turn the lighting into LEDs, so 48,000 LEDs, offers not only a more sustainable solution for brands but also a more creative one for them. And things like even the IMAX wrap and many of our other locations are all made from recyclable material and it's something that we're investigating through our, through our supply chain as well to ensure that we're living and breathing the values that are so important to us. We've done a lot of work over the years working with our partners at the British Fashion Council to actually turn our vinyls into clothing. So we work with designers from London Fashion Week living and breathing those content partnerships to see some of our vinyls on the catwalk in different collections as well. As we've developed and built our network we've always tried to install new technology across our wider portfolio and this includes things like the opportunity to add on-screen augmented reality so we have cameras in a lot of our locations that allow us to really create that immersive window into another world. We have high stream fibre network that allows us to live stream events across the UK. We've even live streamed from outer space so we live streamed the NASA Mars landing a few years ago. 
Um, so there's so many creative opportunities and what we really try to do is ensure our portfolio is ready and accessible so when brands do want to activate it's not cost prohibitive for them to do that. And finally, large format provider Perfect Colours is set to exhibit at the print show for the first time and will use its presence at the event to showcase a range of leading printers from partner HP. Perfect Colours will also showcase how customers can save on materials and inks by using Print Factory workflow software with specialists on hand to talk visitors through the solutions. That's all for this week's Sign 7 News, but for now you can stay up to date with all the news in the industry at signlink.co.uk. View much more video content over on our Sign 7 News YouTube channel or join in with the conversation on Twitter and LinkedIn. We'll see you next week. Thank you.